What is up guys and welcome back to Animation Station. Today I'm going to show you how to use the color mask in Krita. And what this does is it allows you to color things in really, really fast and really, really well and it leaves no gaps. So as long as your drawing line work is closed, so what that means is that say you're drawing this eyeball here, that line has to start and it has to end on a line so that it's not an open loop. Um, so just keep that in mind. So as you can see, I drew this drawing here. This is just a character. He's just mad. He's got his thumb pointing down and saying, get out of here, you know, sort of thing. Uh, let's even have some little uh, spit coming out of his mouth. A little bit of spittle there. So we're going to draw those. And you want the line work, like I said, to be closed like that. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to color this in super quick and I'll show you how to do that over on the left hand side under the layer that says Bob. This is our line work. So if we get rid of that, you'll see it disappears. We would just right click and you would scroll all the way down to add and you're going to go over to the right hand side to colorize mask. So add colorize mask. You're going to go ahead and hit that. Once you hit the colorize mask, it's already going to be highlighted the uh, marker is already highlighted as well which means it's active okay now that it's active we can go ahead and start telling krita where we want to fill the color so we would right click let's start with his skin tone so let's go with this color here that looks pretty close for skin so this is a bald head so we would just put a little line there a little line here and it doesn't matter what type of lines you use krita will understand what you're trying to tell it okay so what you're telling Krita is I want you to color this color in this section right so we're gonna do the, the face first and like I said doesn't matter what you use we're gonna do the neck in here and all this is going to be the same color now we know that should be the exact same color as the hand so we know that I'm gonna go here now for the nails we're just gonna make it just a little bit lighter just like that so that uh, the nails come out a little bit lighter than that color and that's it so we'll move on to the eyebrows let's do the eyebrows like a gray so he's kind of like an older man so we'll do eyebrows here just like that that's going to tell Krita to fill that with a gray color and then we'll do the eyeballs which are black it's very simple we can just put a line in there or a little dot even a little dot works and then we're going to move on to the mouth. So in the back of this mouth here, we want this black. So we'll put a black line there. The teeth are white. You may not be able to see this, but we're just going to add some white lines here. And then the tongue is going to be a pink color. So we're going to use the tongue right here. And then the coat. So we're almost done here. Let's use the jacket. Jacket will be a blue just like this and then these little cufflinks here we'll just do green put a little X there there and there okay so we've told Krita exactly where we want the colors so next what you would do is you go over here to the left hand side and you would just hit this half circle here and it would render all your colors and that's what it's gonna do there you go so your colors have been rendered now there's one more step if you want the background to still stay uh, transparent uh, the next step is you would go to uh, before you be actually before you do this make sure your tools options is open so up here on the upper left you see the tools option toolbar if you don't have that it's going to look more like this and you're going to have to go to your settings you just go to dockers then you go all the way down to tool options and it will open up there it's going to be important because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top toolbar here now your toolbar could be anywhere because my Krita is customized for how I like it so it could be literally anywhere but you're selecting the colorized mask tool it's a little paintbrush with little dots around it so you're going to go ahead and select that and you'll notice a bunch of stuff opens here uh, the most important thing is on this list it shows you the last color you used which was green we want to choose one more color let's just go with uh, purple and we're just going to put an X here X here and an X here and that will tell Krita that we want this transparent after we hit this button here so we select the last color we used we hit transparent which is this button 
gonna get rid of that now. We can move that back up. And we're gonna go back down to our colorized mask. And what you wanna do here is hit the render button one more time. So if you hit render, there we go. Now, if I was doing this in an animation, so if you follow my channel, you know that I do a lot of animation, I would then right click this colorized mask and I would scroll down to convert. And I would actually convert this to a paint layer, just like that. And that way I can go ahead and use that at will. So now we have a layer of paint and the line work and this is how i do all my animations i always have the paint behind the line work but this just saves a whole lot of time most importantly there's no overspill and there's no gaps okay so there's no uh normally if i go to this so i would just rename this as paint and that would be we would just select this and i would just paint underneath the line work but sometimes when you do that if your brush is a little too big you have overspill you see like that and this avoids that okay so if you're trying to paint in krita or animate in krita say you have 16 or 17 frames you have to do and you're trying to do it really really fast this is the way to do it. it saves tons of time and then after you're done you can even go in you can change up a lot of stuff you can uh, do detailing so say we wanted a little bit of uh, a darker eyebrow here just do a little bit of shading and it just saves time you can literally still continue to bring the animation to life just a little easier so if we go here add in a little darker shading here and if you don't know how I'm doing this, make sure you see the setup tutorial, which I'll leave in the link below uh, to set your uh, Krita up for animation because that's very important. You need to be able to uh, use the color and lighten and darken it at will very, very fast when you're animating. And that saves a lot of time too. So you can see that I have the same color. I'm using it to add in these little small fine details right now. There you go, okay. So that's all for today. Using the colored mask is super easy and it allows you to color in your drawing super, super fast, uh, no time at all, okay? If you're into this stuff and you're into animation, make sure if you haven't already hit my uh, subscribe button on my channel, click on the bell so you know the next time that uh, I, I post a video as well. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. You guys take care. I hope you use this method. It works really, really well, saves tons of time. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for your support. Cheers. Bye.